What's going on, everybody? It's Glenn for the latest news, and we're going to jump right into AEW Big Business Review um, on my end. Um, that show was more circulated around um, Mercedes Monet, a.k.a. Sasha Banks. They gave her a, a hell of a, a intro. She finally made her AEW debut, and it was nice. A lot of mixed fans of views, though, um... Well, Osprey cut a, a hell of a promo that night. Uh, Triple H is, um, I'm hearing he's punching the air because he didn't think uh, Will Osprey could cut a, a, a good promo. He just thought, he knew he was a great wrestler, but he didn't know he could cut a, such a great promo. Also, Naomi, um, Tanina, and Bailey showed their friend love. Um, Mercedes Nune, shout out to them for being able to make that appearance for their friend because um, I, didn't, I didn't think they would get a pass like that. To um, go to the AW show to support um, Mercedes Monet, aka Sasha Banks, you know. But um, it was just some mix. It's like a lot of mixed fans reviews. A lot of people saying, you know, uh, Mercedes Monet is all hype. She's she's not that good, or it's just it's people are crazy. I mean, they don't know what they want. I mean, what they really wanted was her to go back to WWE. That's what them fans really wanted. It's not really. Um, Mercedes Monet and her uh, president and what she does because she's very talented. She got the, she definitely got the four pack. She's beautiful, she's good on the mic. Um, she, and she wrestled her behind off. So I don't know, cause we wasn't hearing none of this stuff before. Maybe it was said before. I never ran across it until she went to AEW though, you know. So um, yeah. Um, my offense saying she overrated. She this, she that. Um, but like I said, I feel like some of those fans are um. WWE um fans, um they want to hug back in WWE, you know which is not a bad thing. I mean I, I kind of want to hug back there too, but I also wanted to uh, see her, you know um make a change for you know like on um, Naomi did and she came back. She said she's gonna come back eventually, but um and you know ain't no telling how long um AEW signed her for. I'm assuming I'm I'm pretty sure they offer her what she needed and she pretty much could have the freedom to do move how she want rather than having a, a WWE schedule where they could barely, you know, make outside moves outside the company the way they want, even though they get a bag for it, but it's just and more publicity because um WWE like I said, it's just, it's always gonna be the big leads. I mean, but yeah, uh she um she's claiming she's gonna come back soon. I I I, I could definitely see her come back soon. You know her friends is there. I don't see them going anywhere. Not unless they want to follow her at AEW. She convinced them. Hell, she could convince them to come over there. You know what I mean? But um, I don't think um I don't think so though. Um, uh Bailey um, she's about to pretty much look like she gonna win the belt. So she. Um, I don't think she's going anywhere anytime soon. Tanina, she's a she's retired, and um, Naomi, she just came back, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. But it's it's a thought, you know. But I know I don't I, I believe Mercedes Monet, aka Sasha Banks, is definitely going to go back to WWE at some point to solidify her legacy. You know, she was very happy though, like you know. She was like very happy to be there. You know, she thanked the fans. You know, fans was happy to see her, et cetera, et cetera. But and then after, um, no, she started the match. Oh, um, excuse me. She started the night off. Uh, Mercedes Monet and Samoa Joe and um uh, Wallow had a match. And I didn't, first of all, I didn't think they would give Wallow his title opportunity that soon. After the promo he did about a couple weeks ago, it was a great promo. Um. Uh, secondly, uh, it was a clean finish. Samoa Joe choked him out. Clean finish. It's over, but it's like, one, why would y'all, like, I don't I agree with some. Why would y'all have that match there? Like, and, and in the beginning of the night, like, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like they, that match should have just, like, not happened or just waited or build up more towards it or something. Because I didn't think he would just, you know, he do his promo, then two was a week, two weeks later he get, he gets he missing one from one week, and the next week he get his title shot. It's like I I was so confused, and it was like a clean finish. He had no help. Uh, it was a clean finish. They let it finish clean. Samoa Joe yoked him out, but 
other than that, it wasn't really much really to highlight uh what uh Bang Bang says the gang uh split, Jay White and them. Um th that's about it, but nobody really wanted those guys together like that anyway. I mean I was okay with it, but it it did get watered down after a while because it wasn't really doing much with it. But I guess it was really a setup for um for the um the under um, I forgot they fashion name, but Jay White and his crew to uh turn hell on 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 the, on the claim. You know, that was I seen that happening. Everybody you, you Steve Wonder could see could saw that happening. But I like um uh, what they doing. They trying to get I think they are trying to give Jay White that hill push. which he should stay as hill. I don't see him as no baby face. You know, keep that man at hill and give him you know, give him his push or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, um, wasn't really much to highlight besides, um, Will Ospreay's great promo and, um, uh, uh, Mercedes Monet, um, make her appearance in the beginning and the end of the night. I mean, that was nice. You know, they, 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 you know, they did a, they did a thing for, uh, Mercedes Monet and AKA Sasha Banks. You know, they, they, I mean, they just they can't drop the ball now. They got, and they got to, now they got to. Definitely do something with her, make her change the lanes. Excuse me, the landscape of the women's wrestling division at AEW the way she did at WWE. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, cause like I said, AEW. I mean, everybody miss MJF though. I miss MJF. The whole world miss MJF. You know, um, Kenny Omega. He's you not know I me. Mean? Definitely solid piece there too. He's out injury. You know. Adam Coaster out with injury, uh, but then I'm hearing uh, uh, talks with Shelton Benjamin coming over there. I don't know when, but the rumors is getting more, more and more big for him to be over there sooner rather than later. I'm hearing some people don't want him there, but I, I gotta look more into that, um, cause it could be storyline based or it could be whatever, whatever. Uh, so since, um, I forgot the uh, Chinese, the Japanese dude name, but he's he cut a promo. Um, he did his thing. He, I didn't think he could talk English, but he talked English pretty good. And that, and he's telling, I see him in the ring though. Uh, Okada, yeah. He, he's very uh, talented in the ring. I seen him wrestle at, um, I believe it was, uh, the Forbidden Doors, uh, pay per view. I seen him wrestle. I forgot who he wrestled, but it, it was, uh, definitely, he, he's very talented. I might even lie. You know, and WWE dropped the ball with him too. I'm hearing they spoke that uh, saw, like looked into the him too. So I know Triple H is probably like, damn, hurt my average. <laughs> but I mean, it's still time. Guys are still a little young or whatever, so they still got time to make something happen or whatever. And I know Will Osprey. Um, um, he shouted out on the Dragon Doc, Brian Danielson. They supposed to have a match, so I know that match gonna be crazy. I can't, I can't miss that one. And like I said, Will Osprey is 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 he he's very good in the ring. I now I see why they call him one of the best wrestlers in the world because from what I seen, he had that match with um I forgot the other Japanese dude names. It's who, the names is I got, I'm sorry guys, but you you guys know um, it was at the last pay per view. Um, the last pay-per-view they had, he had that match for him, and it was just, it was just off the chain, like, I, my, my jaw dropped, like, this, it was, I was amazed, man, I was so amazed watching that match, so that was a great match, I think that was, in my opinion, one of the greatest nights, uh, matches of the night, um, yeah, that was, that was a good match by those guys, um, but now he's supposed to, uh, face Dane Bryan, I don't know if it's the next pay-per-view, next collision, I gotta, um, uh, look into that. Cause I I definitely can't miss that. Um, but for you guys that seen the show, um, let me know what y'all thought about it. I know I missed a couple of names or whatever, missed a couple of things. But like I said, it wasn't much to highlight. You guys are gonna let me know what I missed out on the comments um section. Um, and just give your uh feedback on the show and what you thought. And for you guys that's hating on um Mercedes Money, y'all gotta y'all gotta chill out. Let that li let her live. You know, let her let her live or whatever the case may be. Let her do her thing. You know, don't 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 ruin this for her. You know, don't don't be cruel. You know, and like I said, shout out to Bailey, Naomi, and Tanita for um showing they they friends some love, man. That's 
that, that's what you call true friends right there. True friends. But you don't get those often. But you, oh, you guys let me know what y'all think of.